Welcome back everyone. There was a big Tesla semi delivery event yesterday and in this report I'm going to tell you about the biggest reveals from the Tesla semi delivery event which took uh, place last night and probably many of you watched or many didn't. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel and give us thumbs up if you find this information helpful. So Tesla just had its semi delivery event. Information about the Tesla semi was shared and PepsiCo took deliveries. Here are the biggest reveals. We just saw the Tesla uh, delivery event um, yesterday on December 1, 2022, memorably, and there are some important reveals that are worth noting. These involve the range of Tesla Semi, the safety, and the charging capabilities, among many other things. In other words, the main specs of Tesla Semi. The first and most important thing is that the Tesla Semi is safe. Tesla has a revolutionary feature called regenerative braking, and this is even more important for semi-trucks. When a truck is going downhill, it has to take proactive measures to avoid having to veer off and use an emergency off-ramp. I've seen many track accidents, sadly, because of this. This will no longer be the case with Tesla Semi. Hopefully, Semi, as the energy that is gained from going downhill, will be regenerated into the battery, and the truck will slow down acceleration when going downhill and be able to charge itself while doing so. This is a big deal and will make Tesla Semi much more safe than a diesel truck, says Jeremy Johnson, Torque News Tesla reporter. He says, the next big deal reveal is that Tesla Semi can go 500 miles of range on a single charge. This means not having to stop at all at the drive. Tesla even released a video of the Tesla Semi going 500 miles, which I shared with a commentary on this Torque News YouTube channel. In case you haven't seen it, please take a two-minute look at my previous video. It's really interesting how Tesla has presented it. Other features on Tesla Semi are the following. The Tesla Semi has enough room for someone to get into it and stand all the way up, even for someone as tall as Elon Musk, who is almost 6'2". There is room to put supplies, tools, and to hang up your jacket. When you get in the Semi, there is a seat in the back and a single seat in the front with two screens on each side. The screens give you visibility into what is at the side of the Tesla Semi, what is behind it, and the cameras make driving it much easier. You won't have to rely on mirrors to see what is around you with the Tesla Semi, and that also makes it very safe. Another feature is that Tesla is building out mega charger stations. That's very important. These are really fast supercharging stations that are needed for the Tesla Semi in order to charge it at a faster rate so the truck can get back on the road. I'm wondering if Model Y and Model 3 can also use this or is too big for them. The big reveal is that the Cybertruck will use the same charging speed such that you could get a pretty decent charge on the Cybertruck in about five minutes. This is a big reveal and will save a lot of time charging. So far, I think this is very interesting. Lastly, the Tesla Semi was delivered to PepsiCo and will start with operations there in California. This will also be using the Tesla Semi for its own internal supplies and will continue to test and upgrade the vehicle just like it does with all its cars. So Tesla will use the Semi for its internal supplies as well. My only question I have is how will the Tesla Semi perform when it's winter, snowy, icy and cold? Will it get good traction? What will the range be when it's cold? So what do you think about all of these things, friends? Let me know. What do you think about Tesla Semi? Is this going to change tracking forever? I think so. Leave your comments below. Give us thumbs up. Share this report with your friends and tweet it out to your followers. I would greatly appreciate it. And also thank you to Jeremy Johnson for bringing all of these reveals to Torque News uh, Tesla reporting. Visit us at torquenews.com Tesla for daily Tesla news from our Tesla team. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report.